It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Probably the nicest place I've ever been in terms of buildings and just the streets, everything. Um, and so what we thought we would do is try and get around as many sites as we can. We're not massive sightseeing people. Like, I don't like listening to audio guides and learning too much because I feel like, I don't know, history was something that I did at school and now I'm not that bothered. But I like to have a look at everything and see and just explore because I guess that is part of going on holiday and I like to explore the culture and everything so today we're going to go around and see some of the sites probably do it over a couple of days as we're here for a few days um, and I'll take you along with me first off we are at the Trevi fountain so here is the fountain it's very beautiful the water looks perfect um, I don't really know much about this you throw a coin in yeah I think you're supposed to throw a coin in so we're going to do that um, but look at the vast amount of people and this is this is the first of March today so it's not super peak time to come to Rome I guess but this is it and it's just like a great example of how amazing every building is in Rome it's always so beautifully done I don't know how when it's also ancient it's preserved itself so well right so I'm gonna go and throw a coin in and get Mark to throw a coin into and then we are off to go and see our next like sightseeing spot which is the Spanish Steps which is another thing I don't know a huge amount about but I've heard it's nice so let's go there now anything in Italian I never know if I'm saying it right or wrong and I'm kind of stumbling my words because I'm so tired we've been walking and walking and walking and my feet hurt a little bit because you know you always go on holiday do sightseeing and think oh I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy some new shoes bad idea just listen to your mum listen to your mum will say wear comfy shoes and listen and do it because otherwise you'll be wasting plasters getting blisters well, I don't even want to talk about it really but what we did do to combat that a little bit is we got a bus which I guess is like a cool thing to do when you're in another country like to navigate the public transport system so we did that a bit difficult finding out how to get a ticket and then having to validate the ticket and everything but it's definitely something I would recommend you can literally just go on Google Maps type in where you are at your destination and then just click the like public transport button and it shows you the exact one so it was very useful very easy and then it was only like four minutes walk to here so I think what we're gonna do now is go inside I've heard it's very beautiful inside according to my parents um, but I actually have no idea what it's all about and if you can hear nice running water at the moment it's because there's a beautiful fountain right next to me which is very lovely there are beautiful fountains everywhere in Rome it's like I don't know it's just keep saying this but it is so beautiful I'll just pan around and show you the fountain after this um, but then we'll go into the pantheon
made it to the Vatican and it is quite incredible. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. I just expected kind of pretty buildings, but not as big and crazy as they are here. Like you probably can't see, but in the background there is, what's it called, St. Peter's? Church. It's St. Peter's <laughs> Church, but it's like Baliska. Yeah, something it's like something that. like that, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm not very good at this sightseeing thing really, am I? I don't know much, um, <laughs> but, we have got our little badges on there because at 11 o'clock we are going to see the Sistine Chapel. I think we're being taken there by a guide um, and that'll be really nice to just have a little wander around, explore. I don't believe we're allowed to take pictures in there and stuff. No. Um, I guess because it's, I think it's just, there's a lot of like really amazing I, artwork. I thought it was a religious reason, but it's not. But religious. It's, not. it's to do with the fact that there's loads of artwork, like Michelangelo yeah, artwork. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was, I don't know, it's something to do with the fact that someone has the right to the artwork in they there. Used to. They used to, and they've just continued it because lots of flash photography and stuff could actually damage um, the artwork yeah, or something, supposedly. something like that. I've read, I've read up a little bit, you see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the Sistine Chapel very soon, and then after that, we'll go to um, go inside maybe the St Peter's thingy. You want to go inside, guys? And uh, yeah, that's about it. We're getting asked to do stuff by people. There's a lot of people around here who keep asking you questions like if you want to go on a tour, if you want to do this, if you want to do that. It's like, no, we've sorted it already. So one thing I would say, not that we've done anything yet, but um, there is a lot of queuing involved if you don't get like a fast track thing. So I would definitely recommend that on oh, you. Definitely. So you don't actually have to pay to go into St. Peter's, but you can pay to skip the queue. So I would definitely recommend that because we've got that and I'll tell you later if I suddenly change my mind and don't recommend it, but I think I do because the queues do look long already. It's a beautiful day in the middle of March, well, at the beginning of March, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah, me too. Yeah. too much walking like around the area we haven't got any pub um well beside one bus we have just been walking everywhere no public transport no taxis just the one bus yesterday and then today we've just been walking and my back and my feet really hurt so what we've done is we've come for a walk um a walk again we've come to have a walk to sit down at um, an area called piazza navona i think which isn't too far um from our apartment but a little bit far, I don't know. It's near the Pantheon as well, I think. It's not too far from that. So we're gonna try and find somewhere where we can just sit down, relax, and maybe have an Aperol Spritz because it seems to be our drink of the holiday. Yes, please. It seems to be everywhere. Like, there are so many Aperol Spritzes on every menu. And I only had my first one last year, um, and I fell in love with it. So I think that's what we're gonna do, just to chill out and relax, and then possibly head back to the apartment. We haven't really decided what our plans are for this evening. So, yeah, this is very beautiful though. I'm just gonna pan around and show you how insane like this fountain is. It's just a random fountain. It's still so cool. It's empty. All it has is a guitar. 
Find a snare drum Bang on it Is this life? I guess it's fine So we've made it to the Colosseum, which is crazy. It's like the, the number one place that I really wanted to go to that in Rome that, you know, you just know, everyone knows about the Colosseum. We got really early this morning and today is the first Sunday of the month. And on the first Sunday of every month, I don't know if it's all year or just in the winter time and the spring, um, it's free to go into loads of different places and Colosseum is one of them. But the queues therefore are absolutely massive, like three hours plus huge queues so I have a little tip you go to one of the other sites that is on free Sunday and there's some that are really close like five minutes grab a ticket from there because there's barely any queue and then come here you skip the whole queue and go straight in we did that we queued for about 10-15 minutes she is amazing yes I, I decided to do this I discovered it last night we'd still be outside and we'd be outside till like lunchtime or something and I wouldn't even be bothered about coming in so um go and get your ticket elsewhere because yeah that's my big tip. I mean, as I said, I'm not that good at sightseeing, but I've got some good tips like that. So I must be, I must be all right. Best and it was amazing as you must have just seen it was like you don't you can't imagine it until you've been there it's just it's another thing um, but now we have come out and we have come across the way to the Foro Romano Palatine Hill I think that's it's something like that um, which is literally just across the way and you get it like included within your ticket um, so the queue isn't as long and you get amazing views out over the Colosseum, which sometimes, although it's nice to be in, I think this is the same in Paris with the Eiffel Tower, although it's nice to go inside these places, to see it from afar, but not too far, is really, really nice as well. So that's what we've done. Um, and also this area is, I don't know historically everything about it, but the gardens just look absolutely incredible and beautiful. There's lots of ruins. So we're gonna have a wander around because it's really nice weather, really sunny. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just such a nice day. Definitely, I would definitely recommend coming to Rome in March. We came sort of fe late February, early March, and the weather's been perfect. There's a lot of like, like behind me, you might be able to see that there's tons of people queuing for the Colosseum, which, as I said, we didn't have to do, but if you were queuing and it was like August or something, it would just be so hot, I can't even imagine it. There's a lot of walking in Rome as well. Um, well, you don't have to walk, but I think it's the biggest thing I would say is definitely walk around because you see so much amazing stuff. But if it was baking hot, you probably wouldn't fancy it so much. So this time of year, it's nice and sunny. I'm wearing my leather jacket at the moment and I definitely don't need it. I could just be wearing my dress. And um, yeah, like, it's just the perfect time of year to come, in my opinion. Do something to waste your time. sitting at the Vatican in the sunshine and eating loads of gluten-free fried food. Got fish and chips here. Got pizza dough strips with chocolate on here. And we got like pizza dough balls, fried veg all stuff and arancini and stuff all in there. All gluten-free, all lactose-free. Bellissimo. So that is all 
our sightseeing over and done with. What I will say as a final thing is that we are currently in Trastevere. Trastevere? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the neighbourhood that we stayed in and I would highly, highly recommend it. It's really just old school. There's lots of restaurants, lots of drinking, just it's a sort of buzz of activity and it's just across the river from like the main area so I'd really recommend it. Thank you so much for like joining me sightseeing. It's been good fun. Me and Mark have really really enjoyed it. Let me know where I should go next. I probably won't be able to afford to go there but I'd like to know your suggestions if there's anywhere that would be good for this sort of thing because it's been so much fun. If you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go up here and follow me on Instagram because that's where I am most of the time and you'll see some snaps of this this wee holiday. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!